<laughs> Pinocchio's always been a lively little fellow, but he seems especially enthusiastic this morning. <laughs> Father, take a look at my report card. My teacher gave me good marks. Oh, did she now? Let me see. Look at that. You're right. These are good marks. I'm proud of you, Pinocchio. Are you really? Oh, Father! <laughs> Wee! It makes me feel so happy when you're a good boy. I'm going to be the most studious student in my class. No more misbehaving from now on. Goodness me, I've never seen you so industrious, my boy. Pinocchio, what's come over you? Well, my teacher says that being an honor student means more than just being studious and well-behaved in class. You've got to be helpful at home, too, tidying up and stuff. Guess I've got my work cut out for me. Hmm. Wow, it's about time. This place is a dump. Huh? Huh? Pinocchio, are you out of your mind? What are you doing? I'm getting our house ship-shape. That means no animals indoors. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Teacher taught me that rats and other wild animals can be unsanitary. And what's more, they break into our cupboards and steal all our food. What are you talking about? I'm not a rat. I'm a common everyday field mouse. Now get this thing off of here. <laughs> Admit it, Charlie. When's the last time you washed your hands? I'm sorry, but I have to. Oh, yeah? <laughs> the next time you bite someone on the finger, you better make sure it's not made out of wood. <laughs> so, he locked you out of the house, huh? Yeah, sure, that's right. Hmm. Tell me about it. Right. The worst thing is, it's not just my problem, Jack. It affects you and Willie just as much as it does me. What? Yeah. He called us animals dirty, unsanitary thieves and a bunch of other things, and he doesn't want any of us in his house anymore. You should have heard him. That pencil neck punks that were not good enough for him, huh? That's right. He said we brought germs into the house and that we steal his food. I sure wouldn't stand for that kind of an insult, Jack. I won't. Ever since he got a good report card from school, he thinks he's some kind of goody two-shoes or something. I mean, of all the nerve, imagine him saying all those things about us. He's really asking for it. I knew you'd feel that way. We're gonna teach him a lesson, aren't we, Jack? We sure are. We'll teach him to insult us. Animals of the world unite. Yay! Meanwhile, unaware of the enemies he's made, Pinocchio still hard at work being a good boy. At this moment, he's trying to put some food on the table. Oh. With mixed results. Uh -uh. Oh, darn it. There goes another one of all the rotten luck. Pinocchio, having any luck? A few nibbles. But no fish, huh? Not even a little one. No. How about yesterday? I'm afraid not. And the day before yesterday? Any luck then? No, not then either. My, my, my. Isn't it a pity? You're not really very good at this, are you? Why do you do it? I'm trying to be a good boy and help father. And you're doing a wonderful job. Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. Hmm? I know I'm not a great fisherman yet, but practice makes perfect. I'll never get any better if I don't stick to it. Well, what a commendable attitude. I'm very impressed, Pinocchio. I had no idea you were such a thoughtful young fellow. I really feel that I should help you in some way. Hmm? I know a place where there are lots of fish just waiting to be caught. That's your problem, my boy. It's not that you're a bad fisherman, it's just that you don't know where to go to look for them. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. You and I aren't exactly on the best terms. Ah, uh, Pinocchio, if you want to be a good little boy, you got to be more trusting. Let's let bygones be bygones. I'll be your best friend from now on, I promise. Where is this place that all the fish are at, Jack? Hmm, <laughs> I'll take you there. It'll be my pleasure. After all, that's what friends are for, huh, Pinocchio? It's awful nice of you. Follow me. Okay. Stop 
Pinocchio. Don't trust him. Come back. Come back. Oh, he never listens to me. Some people don't know who their friends are. And so Jack convinced Pinocchio to climb into his fishing boat. And then he rode farther and farther out until they were over the lake's very deepest point. Oh, there's where you'll find all the best fish in Pinocchio. You're not nervous, are you? No. No, of course not. Why would he be nervous? <laughs> Almost there. Just be patient. This is where all the best fishermen come. It's quiet and secluded, and the water's cold and deep. Ideal conditions for fishing. Where are the other fishermen. I don't know. Must be their lunch break. There, we've come out far enough, I think. How about it, Willie? You got that fishing line all tied off? Uh-huh. Imagine you going to all this trouble for me. It goes to show you can never be sure about people. Yeah. Folks are sure full of surprises. Okay, Willie, let's give our friend a closer look at the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally gonna catch some fish. Won't father be pleased? Oh. Oh, we sprung a leak. The boat's sinking. Everyone over the side, swim for it. I'm quick. Oh, 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 wait for me. Come on, Lily, swim for the shore. <laughs> it worked! He fell for a hook, line, and sinker! Of course he did. <laughs> well, so much for that overgrown toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> And now nothing's gonna stop me from moving back into Geppetto's house and raiding his food. Of course, we expect you to bring us some tasty morsels as a token of appreciation for what we've done. Oh, sure, guys. That goes without saying. We'll split everything I find. Hmm. It's a deal. Well, so long. <laughs> With Charlie bringing us all those tasty morsels, we're gonna be on Easy Street. Watch it, Willie. Don't count your morsels till they're stashed. First, let's make sure that Pinocchio's finished. Of course, first things first. That's what I admire about you. <sighs> you always finish what you finish. It's like working with a genius. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the lake, Pinocchio struggles for his life. But a marionette's clumsy fingers were never designed for the untying of those. Nor was his frail wooden frame built to carry the weight of a ship's anchor. are getting fainter. If he doesn't come up soon, he'll be warped beyond recognition. But a little warping of his woodwork is the least of Pinocchio's problems now. As the icy water presses down on him, he begins to lose consciousness. And then, at the very last moment... <laughs> I'm so happy you made it back. Well, Cricket, not quite all of me made it. My leg's down there. What? Your leg? Couldn't help it. I gotta go back. Wait, Pinocchio! Oh, that little sawdust for brains is he nuts? He nearly kicked the bucket the first time round, and now he's going back for more! Come back here, you blockhead! And so down, down into the lake he plunges once again risking his life, not for his own sake, but because he doesn't want to lose something that Geppetto had spent so much time carefully crafting with his own hands. Finally, thank heavens! I got it! I got it, Cricket! 
I don't believe it. He made it. Let's get out of here, Willie. <laughs> Pinocchio, what's huh? happened? Father, hi! Uh. Pinocchio, don't move, I'll come to you! Uh, 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 I'm coming, my boy! Uh. Oh, my poor Pinocchio, what have they done to you? The leg you made for me, it's ruined! <laughs> Oh, a bit of adjustment and it'll be as good as new. It's you I care about, Pinocchio. And now that you're safe, nothing else matters. Goodbye, Father. See you after school. Are you absolutely sure you feel steady enough on that new leg of yours? It works even better than before. Look! <laughs> Well, Pinocchio, be careful. You don't want to break it again, do you? Don't worry. I've never felt more sturdy in my whole life, Father. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> huh? I can't tell whether I'm coming or going. I think something's wrong. Here, let's take a look. Let's see now. <clears throat> hmm. Well, it's no wonder it's out of joint the way you were spinning it around. <laughs> there you go. Try to be more careful. And don't listen to any more advice from those two rascals, Jack and Willie. Don't worry, I won't. See you after school, Father. Remember, be a good boy, Pinocchio. See you soon. That's what you think. <laughs> good morning, Pinocchio. Huh? Oh, good morning. I have something to tell you. I'm on my way to school. I can't talk now. Pinocchio, wait. Everybody knows you want to be a real boy. Well, I know how you can do it. Oh, come on. You're making it up. It's true. May a bolt of lightning strike me down if I'm lying. Well, that may be, but I've got to go now. If you're ever going to have your fondest prayers answered, there's only one person to turn to. Huh? Who? A priest, of course. Really? A priest? Uh-huh. Just think about it. If a priest can't answer your prayers, no one can. <gasps> I've been thinking this over quite a bit, Pinocchio. Seems to me the thing for you to do is enter a monastery. I know one up in the high desert. It's a very holy place, and the monks who live there are very holy men. They know all about such things as miracles, and that's what you're really looking for, isn't it? Imagine if they did answer your prayers, you'd be a real boy at last. Go ask for their help, Pinocchio. I will, Nora. I'll go right away. <laughs> That trusting little splinter head fell for it like a ton of lumber. Nice job, Nora. Thanks. Don't thank me. It was your idea. Frankly, the whole thing was almost too easy. You'd better hurry if you want to get there before him. Oh, yeah, you're right. Come on, Willie. Wouldn't miss it. I love watching real genius at work. Isn't it just thrilling? Wait for me, Jack. I'm coming. I'm right behind you. Several hours later, Far up in the broiling wastes of the high desert, Pinocchio finally reaches the monastery. Phew! Hello? Is anyone home? Greetings. You are welcome, Pinocchio. Oh my! You already know my name. How? We know many things, but if you want your prayer answered, I must warn you it will not be easy. If you can make me a real live boy, Mr. Priest, I'll do anything, anything. Glad to hear it. In that case, who knows? Perhaps a miracle will occur. Come with me. Ooh. This place is so dry. It's a miracle anyone can even live up here. Are you 
sure this will work? You must prove yourself worthy of a miracle by going through a time of trial. If you can stay out here in the sun for three days without food or drink, then perhaps your wish will be granted. Well, I'm just a marionette. I never ate very much anyway. Isn't that lucky? Then this shouldn't be very difficult for you. That sun sure is bright, isn't it? And warm too, but then nobody ever said that miracles were easy. <laughs> Very well, we will return in three days then. All right, goodbye, thanks. The next time we see you, I hope to find a real live boy. <laughs> we should be ashamed taking advantage of such a Sam. Yeah, we should. <laughs> He'll never last three days. He'll dry up and blow away before the sun goes down. The poor little blockhead. He wanted to be a real boy, but he's going to end up a pile of kindling. <laughs> At first, Pinocchio faced his situation with a calm smile and a hopeful heart. But as the hours wore on and the blazing sun rose higher and higher in the sky, his spirit began to waver. Though only made of wood and not of flesh, he suffered under the heat of the sun just as cruelly as any real boy. His limbs began to dry out and split, his joints began to crack, and not even Cricket could release him from his agony. who can help you, Pinocchio. If not you, then who can help me? Only you yourself can do that. But how? Look at me. I'm afraid you brought all this on yourself, Pinocchio, by disobeying Geppetto and coming here instead of going to school. A truly good boy would never have done that. I promise I'll never do it again, I promise. Help me, please, very good mother. If you really mean to keep that promise, perhaps help will come soon. Bye, Pinocchio. No, Fairy Godmother, please come back. Oh. I'll never get down from here. <laughs> Plywood pimpsqueak must lead a charmed life. Unbelievable! Who ever heard of such a thing? It never rains up here. No? Well, it's pouring now, a regular typhoon. Wouldn't surprise me if our little friend was drowned. <laughs> well, he's right. Instead of roasting, he drowns. At least we're rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> Like the poor little guy's having trouble just keeping his head above water. <laughs> Let's see him get out of this one. <laughs> Gee, I almost feel sorry for him. Bite your tongue, Willie. <laughs> 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 help! Someone help me! Hey! Help! 
someone would come, but I didn't expect you, Charlie. You're a brave little mouse, aren't you? Use your chompers on these ropes, then we can swim to shore. Oh, all right. <laughs> Quickly, Charlie, we're running out of time. The water's rising. There it goes! Great! Just one more and I'll be free! What am I doing this for? A minute ago I was hoping he'd drown! Say with me! <laughs> that a boy! I knew those buck teeth of yours were good for something! <laughs> Come on, climb aboard! We'll swim for shore! Grab on tight, it's gonna be a puppy ride! <laughs> hurry, Pinocchio, hurry! Especially now that you saved my life. So, what are you waiting for? Won't you forgive me and move back in with us? Hmm. 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 Well, just see that it never happens again, okay? What's going on, Pinocchio? <laughs> Charlie and I are going to be best friends from now on. Hey, what time's supper around here anyways? 